Oil in the water is a secondary issue. How a hurricane moves or helps break down the oil spill is highly dependent upon the storm's size, strength, and track. And all of these factors vary from storm to storm. Here is what our experts say about what might happen to a hurricane if it encounters the oil slick. One, if the slick remains small in comparison to a typical hurricane size, the anticipated impact on the hurricane would be minimal. Two, if the oil is not, no, I'm sorry, the oil is not expected to appreciably affect either the intensity or the track of a fully developed tropical storm or hurricane. And three, the oil slick would have little effect on the storm surge or nearshore wave heights. And here is what our experts say about what might happen to the oil slick if a hurricane passes over. Number one, the high winds and seas will mix and weather the oil, which can help accelerate the natural biodegradation process. Two, high winds may distribute oil over a wide area, but it is difficult to model exactly where the oil may be transported. Three, storms surges may carry oil into the coast and inland as far as the storm surge reaches. And four, movement of oil in a hurricane would depend greatly, greatly on the track of the hurricane. It is possible that some of the oil that is at the surface might be transported uh, through storm surge uh, on the coastal area uh, as, as high up as the storm surge goes. So that is the most likely method of transport uh, of oil through a hurricane. Where oil at the surface uh, is transported if there is a hurricane will depend very much on the specific track of that hurricane. Because of the oil, people are saying, well, that changed the evacuation itself. The evacuation areas won't change. What may change is do you need additional resources to help? And that's why it's important now to find out what assistance you have in your communities for mass transit and other things to help get people to a safe location. And our folks in our regional office are working with uh, uh, Governor Jindal's team to begin looking at with the, uh, both the folks in there plus also the workers down there. Will they need additional assistance to evacuate them at a safe time? And I think this goes back to one of the other things that was announced is increasing the lead time for watches and warnings will actually give us more time if we have to implement evacuations that will have a better lead time to start that process.